Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tejumola Taiwo. I'm, okay. I'm standing in for <laughs> Nadi Stanlinos. He's my colleague in Nigeria. I am a student here. I'm a graduate student at Kyushu Institute of Technology. So me and Stanley, we are both engineers with Nigerian Space Agency. So I will make the presentation on his behalf. So we, we want to talk about the towards UNICEF Nigeria, the journey so far. Space-related education in Nigeria started with the inception of African Regional Center for Space Science and Technology Education. It's a center affiliated to the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs for English-speaking countries in Africa. And activities of this center led to the formation of the National Space Research and Development Agency. And currently, we have a we have couple of satellites in space. We have Nigeria Sat-2. We have NICOMSAT 1R. The two satellites are working fine. And also, we have Nigeria Sat 1. And also, there are several activities on small satellites. But basically, the, there is the drive for big, sat, big satellites and more, bigger, <laughs> more sophisticated missions. So, but now, the we want to come down and do small mission so that we can promote space education. So the center believe in Cash Dem Young syndrome, more, and more attention is given to children in schools as they believe they are the future leaders. So this is a kind of cycle that the center use, train young people, high school, uh, primary school, then after they graduate from, from high school, they can go to university and the training continue. This is, these are some of the hands-on activities done by the center and basically is introducing young pupils to space-related programs and teaching them, exposing them to, especially using water rockets. Also, the center organized a couple of robotic workshops. And this robotic workshop was organized all around Nigeria. Nigeria is a very big country. We have different zones, northwest, north central, southwest, very, very big. So the center was able to cut across all this region and organize this workshop. And also, the activity of the one of the activities of the center is promoting uh, Space Week every year. So every year, the center supports Nigerians to participate in zero G activity in the US. So they sent some students to US to participate in zero G flight experiment. The center also noticed that these students graduate from the primary school to the university only to discover their dream course of study were not available. So many times uh, it's not space engineering is not very available in many universities in Nigeria except this center. But this center only offer up to postgraduate diploma. But now I t they are working on starting something for masters. So, and it's just one center. And this center is supposed to serve the whole English-speaking African nation. So the pressure is very, very high. So the center has designed curriculum such that space education can be taught as a course in schools and has also established space clubs in primary, secondary, and tertiary institutions as extra curriculum activity to better educate the students. And also, so, some Nigerians, three Nigerians have participated in CLTP, and we are very grateful to UNICEF. I also participated in CLTP3. 
Stanley participated in CLTP2. Leye participated in CLTP1. So we organize ourselves and we organize concert programs. Like University of Uyo, I, I trained 10 students and they did some concert projects as their final year project. And UNN Usuka, Stanley did some training there, Federal University of Technology. So these are some of the trainings we have conducted. So and also some workshops at different institutions. So primary school, secondary school, and student space related projects and in, uh, in training. So these are kind of uh, projects embarked upon by students, um, most of them as final year bachelor projects in Nigeria, and they have been supported by, by uh, the Center for African Re Regional Center for Space Science and Technology Education in English. And these are some experiments. And there was also Microsoft supported a kind of training and Microsoft Image Corp and some students did some space related projects. So these are some of the benefits that Nigeria can get from by promoting UNICEF activity, which we are currently doing. And this is draft structure of UNICEF Nigeria, different universities come together as UNICEF Nigeria, and we can have fund from individual and private organization, and ASTE, that's African Regional Center for Space Science and Technology Education in English, can come in to support, to support the, the organization in terms of manpower and all of that. So thank you for your attention.